Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for returning guys and welcome to any newbies. Love having you all. Um, we're gonna do today messages from the karmic. We're gonna look at these cards, then some tarot and maybe look at what their karma's gonna be for interfering or causing trouble. You know, we'll go from there. Um, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force anything guys. And remember the cards are energy. So you could be the king of swords, but you could be a female. So just remember their energies so let's get started spirit angel ancestors what message does the karmic have for the collective what messages does the karmic have for the collective oh okay <laughs> we have sex kitten night worker he's not my man either so this person could have a job in the sex industry that, you know, could have an online thing, um, OnlyFans, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, um, so this karmic is telling you that, that that's not the only person that they're seeing at the moment. Insecure tactics needs constant attention, validation or reassurance when it, whatever is given is never fulfilling for very long. So this karmic is very needy from what I'm picking up. Um, constant reassurance from from whoever they're dealing with. Secret, a secret romantic relationship or pattern of flirting. So some of you could be dealing with someone that's involved with a karmic and it's a secret at the moment or it's just flirting at the moment. Um, let's get some more. What does the karmic want to tell the collective? Divorce, separation, the action or state of moving or being moved apart, the damage that might arise from the separation of parents and children. So it could be so, like some of you are actually in separation with your person. Some of you could be going through a divorce. Um, it could be because of this karmic that your person has got involved with um, a karmic at the moment. So let's get some more from this karmic. Tell us more about the karmic. Tell us more about the karmic, please, spirit. What does karmic want to tell the collective? That one wants to come out. I have receipts, email, texts, and photos. So for some of you, they, the, the karmic could actually um, be keeping emails, texts, and photos to have pr and receipts to prove that it proof as proof as if because oh my god, as proof that if they ever tried to come back to you, they've got this proof to actually prove to you that they were messing with them at the time or behind your back. And don't forget, guys, if this is too upsetting, you don't have to stay and watch. You know, I have other videos. Family members have opinions about your connection. So it could be that some of your family members are telling you maybe, you know, don't don't go back to this person. Um, this person's not good for you, you know, and there's so many opinions coming out, out from everybody in the family. And it, I, I'm feeling confusion from you guys. So this, this actually confuses you. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to take them. Feeling invisible, unhappy, sad and misunderstood. So for some of you, this maybe your person is trying to come back or it could be that you've got children with this person and then whenever they are around their kids and you and what have you, this person feels unhappy, sad, you know, quite attention needing because you've got needs constant attention reassurance i think they get very insecure when they have any kind of communication with you you know like i said you could be going through a divorce and it's you you know you've got to interact and this this karmic doesn't like it understanding or not understanding the ability to understand something comprehension perception or judgment of a situation so they they understand what's going on they can see what's going on so it could be that they feel that, that your person's not even into them like they should be into them. Maybe they can see that, that this the person that they're involved with is actually still in love with you. 
Uh, options choices more than one. I'm sure you have options too. He's not the only one in your life. So basically what the karmic is saying here is they think you've got options and choices. So, you know, it's all right for me to be with your person because, you know, he's not the only one that's in your life. So it could be that your person's telling this person that you cheated on them or you're involved with someone else. It could be a bit of jealousy there. They're getting paranoid that maybe um, you're dealing with someone. It wouldn't surprise me whether your person's, whether the page of swords comes out in the tarot cards to see whether your person's actually spying on you guys to see whether you are involved with someone else. Let's see. Falling in love is easy. Staying in love isn't. So basically, karma, uh, karmic is saying, you know, maybe it was all an illusion to start with. Picking up maybe for falling out of love. Instagram groupie, attention seeker, ego driven. It just comes out again. Um. So yeah, this could be someone that could have an online Instagram account um, it could be a groupie that, that follows people or puts up pictures of like half naked pictures and stuff because they're all in their ego it's all about the looks for the karmic on the back of the deck we have users handout takers there you go so this person's a user it could be that your 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 ex has got a good job earns good money no job, deadbeat, child support, 18 years. So this person could be really, really young. Maybe that was a shock to you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the love triangle oracle, if I can bloody find it. Hang on. That's the breakup. Should have got my cards out to start with, eh? You just don't know where things are going to go. Right, got them. Okay. Tell us more, please, spirit, about this karmic. Mm. Worth waiting for. Be patient. Things will get better. Long-waited period. R rewards after perseverance. So it could be that that for you guys, I don't think so much for the, the karmic, that things will start getting better for you. It could be that you've been waiting a long period for the for your person to actually make a decision or you know wake up in regards to this karmic oh my god yeah no it's too many i'm doing that be here all day tell us more spirit please about this love triangle or the third person karmic gee right okay We have self-care, putting yourself first, healthy choices, bringing balance to your life. So yeah, you're, you're putting yourself first. You're not, I don't think you're having really much to do with this ex of yours, guys, because I'm obviously saying it, I'm picking up an ex here. So, you know, you're putting yourself first for, for a change. Um, siren, destructive behaviour, playing with fire, hard to resist, home wrecker. So yeah, this person came in and wrecked your home. Like I said, I feel like you guys actually have children together. Um, for some of you, you were married to this person and this person uses their body, this karmic uses their body to to get what they want because, you know, men obviously find this person very irresistible because they could be really, you know, beautiful, sexy, what have you. Uh, unexpected events, sudden change, unplanned love affairs. So, yeah, this is something that... Um, could have come out of nowhere for your person that they they wasn't expecting to get into involved with somebody else workplace affair falling around at work having an affair with a co-worker uses work as an excuse so yeah they obviously was uh maybe telling you phoning you saying you know i've got to work late at night um i'm gonna be late and that the excuse it could have been for some of you it could be someone that they got involved with at work so I'm going to look up the, the breakup oracle. Tell us more, spirit, please, about this situation. Tell us more about this situation for the collective. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to take them. Might as well. So we have competition. I get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much attention. 
So, you know, you could be beautiful, successful, you know, living your best life. Like I said, you're, you're taking care of yourself and they get intimidated and nervous knowing that you could be out there with somebody else. Uh, desire town. I'm going to win. I'll look better, do better and get someone hotter. But I don't feel this is your that karma, a karmic or your person's energy. This is your energy um, collective that you're going to start looking better. You're going to be doing better and you're going to show your ex that you know up yours Pace, practice forgiveness so what the divine is asking you to maybe just let this go don't let this fester stop holding on to the past of what this person did to you because you know they're taking up free rent in your head don't let them um late nights thoughts of you keep me up at night even if i fall asleep or dream of you so yeah they're still holding on to you and that's mostly why the Karmic is very insecure about your person because they know they've still got feelings for you. Uh, Strategising, can't say it properly. <laughs> I'm coming up with a plan and an offer you can't refuse. So yeah, but maybe I think this person's going to try and come and crawl back. But I don't feel that you're actually interested, but we'll have a look. Make them prove it. So it could be that some of you may want to take this person back, but the divine is saying to you, make them prove it. Don't let them come back and just sweet talk you. And on the back of the deck we have, I never meant to hurt you, I'm not who you think I am. So it was unintentional, this affair, yeah, okay, you, 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 bits along her bits by accident, you tripped. Oh my God, men, women. Right, spirit, tell us more about this karmic and this situation, please. Tell us more. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That goes with that card there. I'm coming up with a plan and an offer you can't refuse. So they're going to be contacting you soon. The Eight of Swords is someone that's uh, uh, sending you a message. It's going to be unexpected and it's going to be happening very soon because the Eight of Wands is swift energy. So that's going to be happening very quickly. They see you as the Queen of Cups, someone that is beautiful inside and that. You're an empath, you're loyal, you're faithful, you've got integrity, you're kind. And they see you as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well, guys. So that could be you lot. And also that could be that the Karmic is saying they know that you are... You know that they're in love with you abundance which is the three of cups and then the star yeah they want to they want to talk to you they want to celebrate with you it could be weddings get togethers celebrations um i can be seen as a third party but we'll we'll confirm that but you know your ex wants to come forward and get back to the way it used to be where you used to be happy together you used to enjoy each other's a uh, company they see you as wish fulfillment they see you as a wish come true that could be that they're manifesting you back into their life as well but it's whether you want to you know clarify the three of cups yeah see hmm oh so the ten of cups is happy ever after it's family kids home life, happiness. The Ten of Cups is, see the Ten of Coins is, you know, guaranteed it's generational wealth. It's something that is actually guaranteed. But with the Ten of Cups, it's not guaranteed. Um, but that's what they, that's what they want with you again. They want the, the happiness and the family and the love and the connection that you both had. They want that back, but on the back of the deck, you've got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is someone that's been betrayed, been stabbed in the back over and over. This is cast as the ultimate betrayal as well. It's it's what they did to you. And don't forget, guys, you can actually swap this around. It could be that you did this to them, you know. Um, it's cast as the ultimate betrayal. You see them cheating, them what, like going off with the karmic. 
Yeah, clarify the Three of Cups, please, Spirit. Yeah, well, it's a marriage card. Weddings, marriage, commitment. It can be a uh, twin flame as well. You could be, t if you believe in that, soulmates, twin flame. It's um, could be buying a new home as well, moving. And I'm seeing this more as, like I said, some for some of the, for some of you, you were married to this person. For some of you, you've got children with this person, and you're in a long-term commitment. And this is what they they want. They're coming up with a plan to come back to this with you, because I see you as their wish fulfillment that you were the brightest star, star in the sky, basically. Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is someone that is the slow. Is slow moving. The Pentacles. Well. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck. They take their time coming forward. So it could be that this has been going on for a long while. And, um, you know, they've, they're coming forward with a message to communicate with you and offer you something as well. So that's a communication card. So let's have a look at the star. Clarify the star, please, Spirit. Not getting much about the karmic though, so I'm feeling like I think feeling like it's coming to an end. Mm, justice, karma. Justice it's Libra card as well, guys. Uh star card is Aquarius. Um justice is balance being restored. So they want to restore balance with you. They want to uh, make they wanna I don't know why I find it so hard to get my words out today. They want to fix what they broke, in a sense. So it could be that karma's actually whooping their butt at the moment as well. And on the back of the deck, you have Six of Pentacles. They want to. They want an equal give and take relationship with you, um, instead of actually um, taking all the time and not giving back. They want to restore balance. Hence the Justice card. Clarify the justice, please, spirit. Right. So the seven of wands is someone that's standing their ground, they're in their power, they're, they're, you know, they're quite defensive as well. So it could be when they want to come and communicate with you, you're going to be in this, this energy right here of... Mm, what did I say at the beginning about the... <laughs> I love it when that happens. I'll come to that in a minute. So, yeah, you're standing your ground. You are going to be really defensive when this person comes back. I don't think you're going to actually believe anything that they say from the card that I've got there, which, to be honest, I don't really blame you. I said at the beginning about I'd be very surprised if the Page of Swords did not come out that this person is spying on you because they feel that you've got other... You've got another lover or you're up to no good. That's exactly what's come out. They're spying on you. The Page of Swords is a, is a big spying card on social media. So, so you, he's, he, I don't know why I said he. So he or she is spying, at you from, uh, spying on you from a distance. This person don't want me to talk. Spying on you from a distance. <coughs> and watching your social media, seeing what you're getting up to. And they are going to be communicating with you because this is another communication card. So it's definitely going to be over like text message or something like that or through, you know, Insta or what have you. You know, because you've got, even got the eight of one, ones there, which is a communication card. Clarify the page of swords, please, spirit. It's quite funny. Clarify the page of swords, please. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is um, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So basically they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, someone that is, is successful, independent, you know, you're very loyal. This is a, a wife as well. This is someone that's in a committed relationship or was in a committed relationship. Um, you know, you could own, own, own your own business. Queen of Pentacles is very generous as well. She doesn't rub it in anyone's uh, face. So that's how they see you as well. I mean, she's the most valuable queen in the deck as well. And they realise that you are valuable. Not as in financial. 
way, but you are someone to be valued and appreciated. And they can't let this go. The Four of pen Pentacles is someone that's not letting go. Someone that can be stingy. Um, someone that also is holding you close to their heart. So let's have a look. Um, I can get some closing messages for this reading. I'll do a calm cut reading in a few days. Right, Spirit, what, what are the closing messages from this energy that I picked up? So we didn't get much from the karmic. The karmic realises that they're losing their grip on this person. This person wants to come back. We have bitterness, resentment, anger, hurtful words. It could be you you have said a lot of things in anger and resentment, but which you really don't bloody blame you. And you're maybe feeling a bit bitter at the moment. This is why that card came up to let it go. Um, as I said, the divine is telling you your angels and ancestors and everybody are telling you don't hold on to the resentment. Where was that card? That was there somewhere. Um, let it go. I know it's easier said than done, seriously. Uh, we have soulmates, deep love, unity, connection. So this could have actually been your soulmate. You know, you've got the four of wands there, which is a soulmate card, as well as a twin flame card. So your soulmate did this to you, but then don't forget a karm karmic has to come in sometimes. There's always a karmic that will come between soulmates, you know, and interfere and cause a disruption. And you've always got one weaker soulmate, um or twin flame, you've got one weaker energy and one stronger energy and it's always the one that's the weak one that gets lured away by the karmic. So you are soulmates, both of you. Distracted, sidetrack, change, delays. Yeah, they got sidetracked, they got distracted by some, you know, siren that came out, you know, lady bits or man bits. Withdrawn, single, lonely, solitary. So it could be that you 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 are single at the moment. Um, you're feeling very lonely, and you're withdrawn at the moment. It could be that you're not socialising with anyone. You're not really communicating with anybody. Um, and that could be why they're spying on you on social media as well, because you're not posting anything. You're not communicating. Not posting anything on social media. This person could be thinking, oh, you know. Is she or he with somebody else? Obscurity, secrets, mysteries, concealing. So it could be that, you know, they've still got a lot of secrets that they're keeping from you. There's still a lot of things that don't make sense that, you know, that you're, you're trying to put your finger on. And they conceal this. They they hide this from you. So maybe like, where was that card when it... There was a card here. I can't remember what it, oh wait, hang on, where is it, there was a card in here that said about, things not being revealed, things, you know, the person not really being too honest, I don't even remember what bloody card it was, but it's somewhere in there, um, so just be careful, when this person comes back to talk to you, you know, maybe get to the bottom of what is being hidden, what secrets they've kept from you. You're in separation, you're at the moment, there's space and there's blockage in this connection. The blockage is the karma, the karmic. Unveiling, coming clean, there you go, messages. So yeah, the confessions, this person's going to come forward, this ex is going to come forward and confess to you. And they're going to reveal to you what was really going on. I think that's why you can't let it go, that's what I'm picking up, you can't let it go because you wasn't told the truth or there's a mystery surrounding this you know so they're gonna they're gonna open up to you they're gonna be very honest with you and you've got mistakes misunderstood vi victim and lost soul but i'm seeing this as they made a big mistake um it could be something that you took wrong and maybe you mis you misunderstood something but you're the victim, they're not the victim, and they're the lost soul. And they know they've made a mistake with you. Thinking, missing you, craving and desiring. That came out in there in one of the other cards as well, that they're really like coming up with a plan because they really 
really miss you, abandoned, left out, walked away cold, yeah, they walked away from you. So, guys, I really hope this resonated for you. Um, and if you like my videos, any newbies that popped in, um, please like, subscribe and comment down below. Love your feedback and I'll see you soon and you take care of yourselves. Bye.